OpenBazaar has integrated Bitcoin Cash and Zcash to give users more control over their own trade and to avoid high Bitcoin fees. Hey everyone, Sam Patterson from OpenBazaar here. Recently, OpenBazaar integrated two new cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin Cash and Zcash, and I wanted to make a video explaining why we did this. There are really two reasons why we did this. One is related to the vision of what we want OpenBazaar to become, and the other is a purely practical consideration. OpenBazaar has been using Bitcoin solely as a means of payment since it started in 2014. Bitcoin was really the only cryptocurrency being used for trade. And the OpenBazaar developers never felt like it was a high priority to integrate any other cryptocurrencies. However, a few things have changed since then. First, the cryptocurrency community has grown substantially. Bitcoin isn't the only game in town anymore. There are several cryptocurrencies that are being used for commerce instead of just Bitcoin. These coins have different properties than Bitcoin, such as more privacy or lower fees, and some people prefer to use them for commerce over Bitcoin. This is our first reason for integrating new cryptocurrencies, more choice. OpenBazaar is the most private, most secure, and most liberating trade platform in existence. You aren't asking anyone's permission to trade when you're using OpenBazaar. OpenBazaar is all about having control over your own trade and giving people any additional tools we can is what we're all about. So adding new cryptocurrencies into the platform is giving people another tool to engage in trade that they control themselves. So that's the first reason that we integrated new cryptocurrencies into OpenBazaar. The second is a more practical reason, which is the increase in Bitcoin fees that we have seen. Now, talking about Bitcoin fees is a tricky subject. Bitcoin fee estimation is difficult to do, and a lot of wallets don't do it well, leading people to pay more than they need to pay. Also, there's no one Bitcoin fee that you need to pay. You can pay more or less depending on how quickly you want your transaction to confirm. So when I talk about some of these uh, Bitcoin fees, keep in mind that people probably could have paid less. However, they're still really high. So let me go through some of the numbers. When OpenBazaar started in the middle of 2014, uh, Bitcoin fees averaged less than 10 cents per transaction. And even when we started working on the 2.0 version of OpenBazaar in the middle of 2016, uh, Bitcoin fees still averaged around 20 cents per transaction. But when OpenBazaar 2.0 launched November 1st of 2017, fees at that point were averaging over $5 per transaction. And over the next couple months, fees actually went up over 10 or even $20 per transaction. So I'm sure I don't need to explain that for a, a Bitcoin marketplace, having to pay five, 10 or $20 for a single transaction is uh, just not really viable for most trade other than high value transactions. It means people just aren't using the platform waiting for fees to come back down. This is made worse by the fact that OpenBazaar makes extensive use of multisig, both for escrow and for making transactions when the other party is offline. When you do multisig, you have to add in another Bitcoin fee. Keep in mind that this is with a SegWit wallet. OpenBazaar was one of the first to adopt SegWit, but it hasn't helped quite enough. Also, the Lightning Network hadn't even been tested on mainnet at this point, much too early for adoption. This isn't just my personal opinion about Bitcoin fees. We receive complaints every single day from users of the platform about high fees, or often from people who don't fully understand how Bitcoin works, having stuck transactions because they didn't pay a fee high enough. And when you don't have a confirmation, it wrecks the whole order flow in OpenBazaar. People get confused and they just don't understand what's happening. Now, as of the making of this video, which is in the middle of February in 2018, Bitcoin fees have come down substantially. They're, they're quite low right now, and they're at a level which is completely usable for trade again. And I hope it stays that way. Uh, I hope we see increased SegWit adoption and that the rolling out of the Lightning Network is going to mean low fees for the foreseeable future. But in case that doesn't happen and we see fees increase again, users now have other options that are more likely to have low fees than Bitcoin itself. So that's it. We're trying to give OpenBazaar users more choices in general, and we're trying to help them avoid high Bitcoin fees when that happens. And yes, we are looking at the Lightning Network to see if that can help us in the future as well. 
If you have an opinion on this and you'd like to give us some feedback, feel free to drop by our subreddit, r slash openbazaar, or our Slack group. You can find out more at openbazaar.org.